Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Spillway Suicidal in the year 2021, a much less satisfying number than 2020. Just doesn't quite roll off the, the tongue as well, you know? 2020, 2021, I mean, it's, it's definitely a downgrade, but in, in most respects, certainly an upgrade. I'm less tired today, although I did bite my tongue, so uh, I don't know how next episode's going to go. I, uh... The tip of my tongue, I've, 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 I've injured it in some way. I've, I've cut it or bit it or something. Um, it's quite painful, so we'll, we'll see if I'm able to do two full episodes. Right now, I'm thinking I will. But after I do a full episode here, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes in the next episode. It might be a short one next time as well. I do not know. I'm hoping I can make it. I don't have any uh, time constraints or anything right now, so... Just, just the pain constraints. How much am I willing to put up with the pain? And for you... I'd put up with a lot of pain. I wouldn't put up with a lot of tired. I, uh, I value tired as being more important than pain. You know? I can put up with a lot of pain. If, I, if I'm in pain, you know, it's like, what, what, what are you going to do? You know? Like, you can't get rid of the pain. I mean, I can go take some Tylenol or something, but that's just feeding an addiction. It's not bad enough to warrant, you know, painkillers. I'll, I'll reserve those for the, the particularly bad, like migraines or something. A little little pain on the tongue is, is fine. It's not painful when I'm not talking, so it's it's not worth taking a painkiller over, right? But it's you know what what, what can you do, right? You're you're in pain. You can't. You just you just have to put up with it. That that's your only option. Is just deal with it. You know when you're tired, you got you got an option. You can go to sleep. <laughs> you you can go fix it. You know there's no uh, there's no harm in in going to sleep. There is harm in taking painkillers. You know as as I. Uh, as I mentioned, it leads to, to possible addiction, dependency, it, it, you, know, you can develop a, a uh, not an immunity necessarily, but a uh, um, sort of a resistance to it, you know? I, mean, I guess you can develop an immunity to it as well, but it's, it's going to take a, a lot more painkillers than you should be taking. Um, but, you know, over time you end up taking more Tylenols because you've been taking Tylenol so much and it's just not doing it anymore for you. It's not. It's not good. So I'm not gonna. I don't take. I don't take Tylenol for every little pain. And it's like, uh, you know, you just you just put up with it. It's just this is this is what life is for me today. But when I'm tired, I'm like, nah. I'm just. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's it's the. It's the um. It's the only way to fix the problem. So I guess it's not necessarily that I rank pain as being less important than tired, but that uh, it, it, it necessitates, on a, on a uh, on a mild degree anyway, it necessitates a response sooner. I don't like being tired. I don't like being in pain, but again, what, what can you? I can't. Like, I, I can go to sleep, but like I'm not tired. I can still accomplish things. I'm not in pain if I'm not talking. It's it's fine, right? Whereas if I'm like, you know, equally as, uh, as extreme tired instead of in pain, it's just like, well, I can go to sleep, I can be more productive later, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, actually, I have something super cool to show off today. Super, super cool. I'm super proud of this. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Look at that. 175. I believe that is my first time ever hitting 175 words per minute. Super, super proud of that. Careful. It's been a while since I've been in the top five on Type Racer as well. It's been hard to get into the top five lately, but uh, today I managed to. I mean, I got a race. It was it was a, it was a short one, but I managed to, I managed to to hit it and, and hit it hard, and Sorry. it paid off. I did a good job there. So I was I was I was pretty happy about that. I got to to get into the top five, which was just like so so cool for me. Cause uh, again, it's it's been a long time since I was in the top five on Type Racer, and uh, in a 175 was was that was my first time hitting a 175 on a race. I just I I was in the moment. The worst part is I didn't even that wasn't I didn't even come first in that race. <laughs> you know, like literally, the person I was racing was right here. <laughs> Literally, um, 
So I was like, aw, like my, my best ever race and I don't even get to win the race. But, I, uh, you know, a 175 is a 175. Cannot be upset about that. It was a short race. You know, you got the advantage in a short race. It's uh, a lot easier to, to kind of burst through a very short text than it is to burst through a very long text because it's just longer. But uh, yeah, it just it felt good. My uh, my average word per minute is starting to go up as well. I'm starting to get like average 130 to, to 135 even sometimes at a high. Right now I'm at uh, 122, so not really a good example of it. But it's uh, it's nice seeing the in the improvements to the typing speed. I've started taking it uh, proper serious now. I didn't used to. I I, I I used to be naturally good at it, and I kind of. You know, I, I just kind of, I was proud of that, but I didn't really put in any effort to get there. Now I'm actually putting in effort, I'm trying to learn and improve, and it's paying off. I'm, I'm quickly becoming a, a very solid typist. And you know, just on being a fast typist, I, I believe I can get a job somewhere. <laughs> I, I believe I can get hired just because I'm a fast typist in, in some places. It's just, do I want to work in those places? Not really. But I, I believe it is a, uh, a, uh, you know, like, sellable skill. Like, I, I can sell that kind of a speed. Which, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll look into it so I can make some money on the, the side and really commit to YouTube. I don't know if I can, I'd love to. If there's a job where all it is is, is just type a lot really quick, then, then, like, sign me the heck up. As long as it's, you know, 25 bucks an hour or something. That's what I need. I need, I need like, 25, maybe, like, 30 bucks an hour. Which, which is asking a lot. It's, a, it's asking a lot. You be dead. But that's, that's what I need, you know? If, if I want to continue focusing on YouTube. It's just it takes up a lot of time, and I don't have an awful lot of time to invest in, in other things. So I, I need a very large wage for, for me to still have the time to also work on YouTube as, 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 as much as I am. But I don't know, 30 bucks an hour isn't, isn't that high. I probably have some kind of skill that I... The, the issue is, once you start getting into those jobs that have, like, super high wages like that, it's usually, like, you know, expected that you're going to work a lot of hours. Whereas the reason I want it is so that I don't have to work a lot of hours and I still get paid a livable wage. But but you're usually, you know, if you're getting, like, 30 bucks an hour, they're usually like, yeah, we need you to... You know, it's like salaried, right? Like, yeah, we need you to, to get this done by, like, you know... Thursday or whatever. It's like, okay. Then you're working like eight hours a day those, you know, those weeks to, to get it done or whatever. You get paid like 30 bucks an hour because it's, it's skilled labor. They need it done and they have a lot to do. And It's kind of a bad situation if, if my goal is to to make a living selling that kind of stuff. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could happen. Maybe. I'm not really keeping my hopes up for that. <laughs> that's, that's a unicorn, I'm sure. But 175... I'm proud of that. I am proud of that. 175 is not a speed that many people get to do. You know, that puts me in in quite a, uh, a prestigious position. And I, I think I was already in a uh, a fairly prestigious position as a, as like a 150-ish typist. To to be you know like 175. How many how many people are typing above 175? I mean, come on! Like, how many how many people out there in the world are are doing like 170? I mean, come on! Let's be real here. The average typing speed is like 70 or 60 or something like that. Something stupid like that. Like, come on! <laughs> 170, 175. That that definitely that's up there. So I I, I think I deserve to be proud of that one. And boy, howdy, proud I am. Um, where'd you go? He's right over there. I see him. Nah, we're not going to be able to chase him down. Yeah, I was, I was rather ecstatic when I got that. That 175. I was, uh... There was a lot of cheering. Cheering myself, you know. That's what I do when I'm excited. Felt good. Because I've been, I've been trying to get into the top, like, 10. You know, has been my goal. Like, getting into the top 10. 
on uh, uh, okay this this would have been a good idea if it weren't for the clot <laughs> it would have been a good idea if it weren't for the clot I was gonna walk around and then run but the clot kind of stopped me you came so close to victory. I've been trying to get into the top 10 you know fairly consistently as has been my goal you know cuz I'm able to do it usually to get into the top five top four even like whew. it's uh just it just blows my uh, my expectations out of the water there so happy so happy it's an achievement of uh, epic proportion typing is like typing is like my passion you know what I mean like that's that's my sport of choice <laughs> It's what I do. It's what I train. It's what I uh, I work towards. It's it's what I'm it's what I'm good at, and it's what I like being good at. You know, I'm good at other things too, but but typing is 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 like the thing that that uh, that I think I'm the best at. You know, like I'm good at a lot of things. Okay, I'm a good KF2 player. I'm not the best KF2 player. I'm not the best typist. But I'm not even like in the ranks of the best KF2 players. You know what I mean? I'm like a good KF2 player. I'm a good, uh, I'm a good programmer. I mean, I guess rain meter. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh, one of the best like rain meter developers, like rain meter skin developers. Um, technically, I do have some code in the in the rain meter executable, but it's it's very, very, very little and, and pretty insignificant. And I'm I'm pretty sure they only let it let me write it because they were pitying me. Um, because they they ended up like fixing the the problems that I made. Anyway, uh, I um, yeah, I've, I've just I've got I can't remember what I'm talking about. I've got uh, the, the typing and rain meter. You know, those those are the two things that I consider myself to be the best at. Not not like the best. Like I'm not the best typist, but like out of all the the t the skills I have, out of everything I've I've like invested time into learning how to, to be good at those are the things that I think I I, uh, I excel at you know a lot of people in the rain meter community view me as being uh, or a lot of uh, influential people in the rain meter community I mean there, there are tons of people in the rain meter community who like just don't even know who I am because what I make isn't necessarily like great for like you <laughs> you know like like it's technically like it's it's technically impressive you know it's a great showcase of like you know my my prowess and understanding of the the application of being able to make it do what i want um but it's not really stuff that like you know somebody would install so i'm not i don't, I'm not, I don't have a name for myself in the rain meter community but a lot of the people who uh you know, a lot of people who do have a name in the Raymere community would uh, would would view me as being a, a particularly talented individual, which I, I think is is equally good. Just because I do a lot of uh, really cool stuff, or I did anyway when I was doing it. Anytime I do get into it, I do really cool stuff, and you know that's a point of pride for me. Being able to to confidently say that, say that yes, like I I can sit down and I can make something, and pretty much anybody who like looks at it is gonna be like I don't even know you could do that you know like that's that's the kind of rain meter person I am and uh, it's a point of pride for me it's a lot of innovation and uh, I, I like doing that and then typing again a lot of people who are uh, you know typists would view uh, the speeds that I'm able to type at like 175 hello uh, you know, it's, 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 that would be viewed as a, a fairly, you know, a pretty, pretty dang good typing speed right there. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know, like, like I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a pretty small sub, like, uh, I'm, I'm in the, I don't even know if top 1% is enough. You know what I mean? Like, is, is that a small enough fraction of the people to, to, uh, quantify my, my abilities as, as a typist? I don't know. Top top point one percent. I don't know. And it's, it's nice being able to, to 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 have things like that, where where you can confidently say like, yeah, no, I am one of the best. You know. 
Definitely, it's like, uh, if you were to put it in, like, sports terms, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm not really gonna try, I was, I was gonna try, but I'm like, wait a minute, I don't know anything about sports. <laughs> I was gonna be like, I don't know, like, your local hockey team is probably better than, like, anybody who plays, but they might not necessarily be NHL level, you know? But they're still, like, pretty dang good and very respectable players. Like that kind of thing, you know? Might not be the the best, but I'm definitely up there. I'm, I'm one of the people who are, are uh, you know, competent, at least. And it's good, it's good to have things like that, where, where you can confidently say that, you know? Because it gives you a confidence boost as, as like a person, even though it's like a, a silly thing, you know, being able to type really fast. I mean, I've, I've explained why it's not a silly thing and like why it's actually hyper beneficial to be able to type quickly before um but like you know realistically being able to type at 175 words per minute versus like 120 really it's it's not a huge benefit it's not a super valuable skill to have at that point it's it's just about uh, the passion of it um but like it's 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 it's, it's it feels good you know it just it feels good. That's that's all there is to it. It it just feels good. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. There's nothing wrong with uh, having something that makes you feel good and feeling good about it. You know how I many? Let's see. What what's the top one thousand typing? I don't think I'm in the top one thousand. Um, top one thousand typists. Uh, ranked typing. Yeah, like everybody's like 60, you know, a bunch of cheaters doing like 999. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm trying to see if there's like a ranking of like typists. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't, I can't see anything. Uh, average typing speed. Yeah, like 50 to 80 per minute. Is, is like an average professional typist like somebody whose job is to type is is like 80 to like you know at the high end and then like an advanced typist is like 120 <laughs> you know and then, and then there's me 175 as I can't do that consistently but like you know oh well I wish I wish there were a ranking, you know, like uh, give me uh, give me like grandmasters for for typing, you know, like uh, I I'd be like an international master, right? You know, like if we were to convert it to chess and like the the prowess required to be part of it, I'd I'd be like international master level at typing, right? Like that's the the level of you know adequacy that I've I've displayed. I think. You know, Type Racer is, is one of the, the more popular typing sites out there for sure. And and I'm able to fairly consistently get in the top ten there. Like whenever I play, no matter who's what the rankings are, I'm able to reasonably consistently get into the top ten. And almost whenever I want get into the top twenty. That's like almost never a a problem. And uh you know, it's one of the more popular ones. It's, that, that doesn't mean that I'm, like, one of the top 20 typists. Not even by, like, a, a long margin. But, like, you know. It feels good. I am definitely one of the best typists on Type Racer. You know, that that's that's for sure. You know, clear evidence of that, at least. Um, but, uh, you know, in the world, I don't know. I, I, I really do just wish there was uh, some kind of ranking for, for typing speeds, you know? So that I could know where I stand on, on a global level as a typist. Because I've got to expect, like, top 10,000 at least, right? Maybe, maybe like, top 50,000? And, like, you know... That's pretty good. 
You know, if, if you're one of the top 10,000 richest people in the world, you're really, really rich. You know what I mean? Like... If you're, if you're one of the top 10,000 typists in the world, that's that's something to be to be confident in, you know? But that, that's probably about where I would expect that I'm at. Top 10,000. Right? Maybe, maybe top 50,000? I don't think I'd be slower than that. But, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's no ranking. I, I don't know what to, where to put myself, you know? There's no official uh, list of all the people who type. I just want to know where I stand. I want to be competitive here. Regardless, though, 175, first time hitting that high. And, uh, well, uh, let me just say it, it, it hit, it, it, you know, I, it, I, got, I got quite the, the typing high off of that. Okay, um... Dangerous? Highly dangerous. Still win. <laughs> Can't do the 175 consistently yet, but I'll get there. I'm improving. My goal right now is to uh, to, to 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 do a 200. You know, I want to I want to type a 200. If I if I can do that, I'll be I'll be even prouder. Cause I've never typed a 200 before. I've I've had like sections of a, of a of a typing race at like 220, 230, 240 even like, you know, some words just happen to be really really quick to type. Um, but like a whole race, never gotten 200. 175 is the highest I've ever done. So if I can do 200 someday, that'll be a, that'll be a sick. Anyway, hit 175 today. That, that puts me in, in, you know, some kind of leaderboard somewhere, I'm sure. I'm sure. 175 you don't see every day. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. Hang up. No, well, we'll do it tomorrow. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.